So in the vid previous video lesson, what we ended up doing is taking these isometric or 3D drawn shapes and we corresponded them to the uh, 2D plans. Uh, if you recall from the last lesson, uh, this view is always considered the top or the bird's eye view. This is considered the front view right over here and this is considered the side view. If you also recall from the previous uh, activity, uh, if you see dotted lines, that's referred to as hidden lines. That means that there's lines in behind the shape that we can't see and it's not quite visible to the eye. So for this lesson, we're going to take one of four objects. You get to select which objects and you're going to translate this 3D object and you're going to draft it on the piece of paper from the top view, front view, and side view. Before we do that though, we're going to have to do some preparation in terms of actually outlining our, uh, our, our page and adding a title block for when we need to fill that in a little, little bit later on. So I'm just going to move this off to the side here. And taking my ruler, I'm going to mark out a border and that border is going to be one centimeter from the edge of the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this off. Don't forget to square your page in advance. Same thing over here on the top. I'm going to just mark off a centimeter. That might be a little bit too light for the video camera to pick up. But as soon as I use the T-square to draw this all in, it'll be a little bit more obvious or apparent. Okay, so now that I've got my borders marked, I'll take my T-square and then draw that out. I recommend that everything you do, you apply really, really light pencil pressure. Uh, I will illustrate a little darker just for the purposes of this video, because obviously I want things to show up a little bit better here. Okay, so let's go one centimeter that way. And again, using my T-square, making sure everything is nice and squared off. Come all the way there. And then we'll do the same over here. If your lines are overlapping, just take an eraser and just go back and erase it. If your lines aren't too long or long enough, just go ahead and just sort of pencil that in as best as you can. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now the next thing I need to do is mark off uh, for my title block. Typically title blocks are located in the bottom right hand corner and my title block is only going to take up a small portion of the page. So with that, I'm going to take my ruler here and I'm holding it upside down on the camera just so I can see it right side up. I'm going to mark it off by 10 centimeters in total overall length and the height, we're going to go four centimeters. Again, using my T-square, I want to then outline the title block, which will then divide into quarters. If your lines are a little bit too long, that's fine. You can erase them afterwards. So far, so good. And I'll just take off any extra here. All right, using my ruler again, what I plan to do is divide this in quarters. So I'm actually gonna measure five centimeters, first of all, uh, for the lengthwise. So we can divide this. Not quite centered but that's okay. I think I can be forgiven since I'm doing this all upside down. And we're gonna go two centimeters here. And draw that. Okay, so eventually what's gonna happen is we're gonna have the title which we'll call this geo block. Uh, we're gonna have our name, scale, and then we're gonna have the date. Do not fill this in now because it's a very specific way in terms of drafting standard of how this is supposed to be completed. Okay, so now that we have our outline and our title block done, what we need to do next is select one of these four geometric shapes here. So you get to pick. 
for just the demonstration purposes of this video, I'm going to actually go with this one right over here. Now, first thing to consider when you look at this, and I realize the numbers are going to be too small in the video, is everything is drawn in millimeters. So I know that the overall length of this geo block right over here is 110 millimeters um, or uh, 11 centimeters. And I also have the overall width of this too, which is 50. So if you recall earlier, what we need to do is put the top view here, front view here, and side view here. The thing is, everything has to align with each other perfectly. If it's not aligned, you're not doing it properly. Okay, so we're gonna start to go ahead and we're gonna do a top view of this first geo block. And I'm just gonna pin it up over here and we're just gonna refer to it throughout the video. Okay, so I mentioned that the overall length of this is going to be 110 millimeters. So let's start doing the top view and try to imagine what it would look like from the top. So taking my T-square, I'm gonna try drawing the overall length as 110 millimeters. Now, before you start drawing, it's super important for you to remember that don't put your object crammed up to the very top of your border or left of the border. You need to actually leave some space when we actually do annotations or actually add the measurements in here. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take this, and if you recall, I said it's 110 millimeters or 11 centimeters. So that's the overall length. Now the next part that I'm gonna draw is this part right over here. Now I know that the width of this part is going to be 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna reorient my T-square, hold my ruler right up to here, and I'm just going to go ahead and sort of line this up here so it's roughly, or exactly actually, 10 millimeters or one centimeter. So that's this part that I'm drawing right now. Now, in terms of the overall depth, how far this goes in, I have a little measurement right over here. And again, this I know this is hard for you to read. It's gonna be 20 millimeters. And you'll notice how I'm taking my T-square to make everything square, and I'm stacking my ruler over top of here too. So I need to go 20 millimeters or two centimeters, just like that. Now, in the cases where you encounter a measurement where it's not listed, you have to do some basic math. So I know the overall width of this object is 50 millimeters, and I know this part is 10, and this part over here is 10, which is gonna be kind of the other finger sticking out, so I actually have to then do the difference. So I know that 10 plus 10 is 20, and if I subtract that from 50, I know that this part right here will be 30 millimeters. So let's go ahead and draw that in. Right about there. Great, now I can finish off this next finger. And it's the same length as the first finger, which is 20 millimeters or two centimeters. And if you recall, the overall length of this is 110 millimeters or 11 centimeters. And now if I measure this here, it should be 50 millimeters. And in fact, it is. So try to always use a T-square. To line up all your lines, make sure everything's perfectly square. Whoops, I drew this one a little too short, so I have to actually extend this outwards. So this is why you should be using very light pencil pressure, because if you do make a mistake, it's easy to erase, and you are being also marked on neatness. I'm obviously illustrating it dark, just so you can see what's going on here in the video. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, I have to then find or draw the other features. So right here, there is an indentation, and again, I'm gonna to have to do the math, but I'm gonna let you sort of sort through that. Now, if you also recall, there are some hidden lines on here. 
So there's parts of this that we know that we can't see from the top view, but we know that they exist. So for example, the finger right over here, there's a huge space right there. So I can illustrate that space by going ahead and drawing dotted lines because I know there's a cutout underneath these little fingers. Now you'll also notice that there's actually a channel that goes in here. I want you to assume that the channel goes all the way through the entire geo block, through it. So I'd actually have to find the distance. So I know that from here to here is 15 millimeters and here to here is 15 millimeters. So I'd actually have to measure and then have my dotted line come all the way across. Now I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna let you do the calculations and finish off the top view. Now after we've done the top view, we have to do the front view. And that is, what does it look like from the front if we were to look at this? So I'm gonna go ahead and shade this part because this is gonna represent what I actually have to draw. Okay, so in doing that, it's super important that you, me you measure, or sorry, keep this completely in line. So if this is my top view, the front view is perfectly in line right over here, and I can actually start drawing that. So I'm gonna actually figure out the height of this line, and to do that, again, I have to do some manual calculations here, and if this is 40, and this overall is 60 millimeters, I know that this is 20 millimeters. So let's go ahead and line this up and do the height of my finger. So I'm gonna line this up first of all, slide this down, leaving lots of space between the objects, and I'm gonna draw this as 20, milli 20 millimeters. So right now we're drawing everything as a one-to-one -one scale, and so that means for every one millimeter here, it matches up to one millimeter over here too. Okay, so next line I have to draw is this line right over here, which is 80 millimeters. Okay, so let me just draw that out. And then I could maybe do this part which I know is 20 millimeters. Even if I take my T-square, you'll see how these two lines match up almost perfectly. All right, and then going over here, I need to draw this as 40 millimeters. So we're basically doing a translation of an isometric object into various views. Now I can continue drawing this, but you're gonna have to figure out the rest on your own. Keep in mind a few things. Set up your page properly. That includes your border and your title block. Don't fill them in quite yet. Always put your top view here, your front view here. Make sure everything's perfectly aligned with each other. Eventually, you're going to have your side view right over here, which is going to be perfectly aligned with your front view. Don't worry about adding dimensions right now. There's a very specific and special way of doing that. But you'll also have to add in your hidden lines, which means that where is there a cutout for you to sort of like, you know, imagine there's some geometry in behind a surface or an area. So go ahead, select one of the objects from four listed, start drafting it out. Don't worry about the measurements, we'll get to that uh, in the next video. Good luck with that.